Hi folks and welcome to this week's Skippy Track Guide at Watkins Glen. Now this is the full course, so uh, no shortcuts here and it has the bus stop as well, which is uh, interesting, put it that way. Uh, we, this is actually the enter of the bus stop there, I think that's quite a cool thumbnail. Uh, anyway, let's crack on with the uh, with the track guide itself. So the lap I'm going to show you is a 210.014. I did a 015 down here, can you see that above my head? Yeah. Um, I was trying to get into the uh, 209s. My my optimum is a 2097, and for whatever reason, I couldn't get in there. I was pushing a little bit too hard. So we're we're mid to low tens basically, and I'm I'm happy with them. It, uh, it seems quite grippy around here. Um, right, let's get on to the track usage is 43%. Now I'm going to put a little overlay above my head while I'm waffling. Uh, basically. You can go to uh, the race series and then click on schedule and then you can click on drive now and then uh, either do a test session or a hosted session. Obviously test sessions are free, hosted session is you want to do with your mates, it might cost 50p an hour or whatever it is or 50 cents I should say. Um, so basically they should be similar if not bang on the conditions for the race because that would make sense if they were. So if you don't want to copy me on this track guide that's how I got to these settings uh, as an easy way of doing it for you. Anyway, back to this, uh, 74 Fahrenheit for the track temperature and time and date should be nearly, as I say, about the race conditions. Otherwise, let's crack on with it. Right then, and here we are crossing the start-finish line. Quite a good run down into turn one, so be very careful on the start. Someone will definitely get a slipstream down in here. Be mindful as well, there is a huge runoff on the exit, so don't be afraid to use it. It isn't an off-track until you get to the grass. This lovely line here, which I probably cut a little bit too late, that's why we're standing on the brakes. Cold tires are a little bit before that. Breaking down into third gear, get off the brakes and get the car rotated as much through the corner before the corner as we can we want to be on throttle and get a brilliant brilliant exit through here this is where a lot of the lap times made up because we are now full throttle all the way down till the bus stop uh, don't run too far wide because uh, as i say it's just elongating the track distance but if there is someone you're inside you can use it the grass there is the off track and there is a little bit of bump so be warned through the s's now of turns two and three just try and minimize steering angle keep it in fourth gear if you change to fifth you just lose momentum lose engine rpm and it just really suffers change to fifth at the top of the crest and hug this curb of turn four now just nice and easy and then as the yellow paint stops i bring it over to the left hand side uh, people are going to slipstream here it's a hell of a long full throttle zone so uh, just let them go and try and lose minimal time as we're coming in to hit the bus stop at the 300 board we are beginning to turn the car in to the first right hander and when the car's straight and we're at the 100 meter board that's where i'm dabbing on the brakes down to four lift off the brakes let the car ride the curb steering straight brake again to bring us to the left hand side we can take loads of curb here and i do miss the curb on the second left hander so you can take a bit more than what i do be very careful here if you dip any more than maybe a two tire width onto here it is a cheeky little off track. I believe in the old build it used to be a slowdown, which is horrible. Right, the long turn five. As the grass ends on the left hand side, it's kind of a natural progression of the car to run wide there. That's where we're turning in. We have a slight lift on throttle. You can take it full throttle if you get your line absolutely perfect. And you want to apex around this kind of fencing here on the right hand side. Uh, really late apex because the car, the track drops away. So Skippy speeds up and we tend to understeer a little bit wide here. You can use the curbing here on the left hand side. Don't be afraid to use it. But there is a horrible off track just on the grass right here. So be very careful about that if you do run a little bit too wide. Also, also a uh, horrible little bump. So it's something to be mindful for. Again, good overtaking opportunity down here. Heavy braking zone coming up. There is a change of tarmac right about here. And I'm waiting until the car is fully off it and then standing on the brakes. Down into third gear, bringing it into the apex as well in the braking zone. In faster cars, I normally stay out wide and then have a nice late, uh, late apex and get a good run out of it. In this, again, we want to be on full throttle as soon as we can. Once the front end grips up, we can take a little bit more curve on the left-hand side. Skippy doesn't seem to mind it too much. And then we can use the curve on the exit. Just be very careful of the grass. You can get a little bit of wheel spin and end up in one of the barriers. 
another little straight now it is kind of an overtaken opportunity but it's very awkward to go too wide through uh where are we turn seven yeah we turn seven lose track i think it's called toe fair enough oh that's the boot shape then well, that's good to know <laughs> uh breaking at the 100 meter board maybe a little bit before right and we're breaking and we're keeping it in third sorry changing down into third and then keeping it all the way around you can see it's been resurfaced so it tells you if it's been resurfaced it's obviously a well used bit of tarmac so that's what we kind of stick to and get a nice late apex to get a good run up the hill we are very early on full throttle here so we're going to let the car drift out when we do meet the apex avoid the curve on the inside is very high and very bumpy um Using all of the exit road, there's a little bit of tarmac you can see here, but of course, be very careful, don't hit the grass. This track seems to be very rear grip limited, so on cold tires, it is very tricky, particularly long sweeping corners. You need to be mindful of the skippy's uh, tail, getting a bit waggly. Right, coming into the heel of turn eight, 100 meter board again, just before it, and we're standing on the brakes, and we're down into second gear. Quite a deceptively fast corner I found. I mean, Apex in about 68, 67 mile an hour. Get us turned in again. You can see it's been resurfaced. So that's the kind of arc we want to follow. I changed the third nice and early to minimize uh, wheel spin coming out of here and uh, get a better exit. And it's also downhill. So it gives us a bit more uh, speed boost. Uh, use the curbing on the left hand side. Now this one, I don't really have a marker. It's normally when I just see the corner. Uh, I get the car turned in aim for mid track and then stand on the uh, on the brakes down to second hug the inside left hand curve as much as we can but don't touch it you can see how high it is now i actually get on throttle a little bit too early here and it does push us very very wide which is a bit of pain in the rear end because we do get a lovely snap of oversteer which obviously uh, does affect our lap time quite a little bit and there you can see the snap right there maybe lost us a few uh, thousands or something silly like that anyway down to the second to last corner and we're breaking about the 150 point uh, that's why i haven't circled the 100 board because we're a bit away from it turning in the car uh, absolutely flat out on cold tires be very careful with the uh, car stepping out on exit i've been finding so uh, maybe a slight lift just a uh, mid corner to help us around there it's quite cambered so we can get around it quite happily uh, use the curb on exit but obviously be careful of the grass a bit further on now to the last corner which is uh, a pretty important corner because we're coming up to a long straight use that giant wooden thing on the left if you don't have that just as the tarmac disappears into the grass there on the left hand side same difference really uh, slight break get it turned in get back on power as soon as possible we can give the curb a little cheeky tickle on the way past but kind of uh, want to get as good exit as we can because we've got to go all the way down that straight now um, be very careful of the grass coming up here there is an off track and we do stick a little bit of a cheeky tire on it as well but we now blast the line now on a bit of a speed up and that is the lap over and as you can see when we freeze frame it about now we did a 210.014 which was a little bit away from my target but still nonetheless a quite a decent lap so yeah be very careful these are high speed corners on cold tires are going to be very tricky the ones that are full throttle particularly i think it's turn five did i say it was um yes turn five uh because the bus stop don't count as corners even though there's four of them in it yeah be very careful there on cold tires a bigger lift you did see me lift so a bigger lift there and the other speed the the s's are fine on cold tires just be careful of uh, other drivers through there otherwise guys thank you very much for watching let me know how your races goes and let me know if this helps you out at all otherwise i will catch you on the next one